A very good morning to you and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Calkine TV Sydney Studios. Now the Australian share market opened lower today and that's after global tech stocks fell. According to the latest by futures, the ASX 200 opened the day 0.8% lower. Major Wall Street indices slipped in overnight trade after Facebook owner Meta Platform's downbeat forecast sent its stock tumbling. Facebook's parent company Meta witnessed the biggest value erosion in market history, falling 26%. Yesterday, in Australia, at the closing bell, the S&P SX200 was 0.1% or 10 points lower at 7,078. The best performing sector yesterday was utilities, up 1.6%. The worst performing sector was the tech sector, down 5.9%. The best performing stock yesterday was New Farm. Their shares closed 20.2% higher at $5.59. The worst performing stock was Novonics. Their shares closed 14.7% lower at $6.57. Looking to some business news from this morning now, and Downer EDI has been awarded a new three-year contract to provide field services to Chorus, a leading provider of telecommunications infrastructure throughout New Zealand. Under the new field services agreement, which starts in April this year, Downer will continue to provide services in the Lower and Upper South Island, Wellington, Eastern and Western North Island and the Bay of Plenty. In addition, Downer will now also provide UFB Connect services throughout the South Island. And the Greer Group, a digital advertising business specializing in property, saw year-over-year -year revenue growth of 37% to $590 million. That's an increase in EBITDA, including associates, of 27% to $368 million and a 31% increase in net profit to $226 million. The group result includes the consolidation of RIA India from the 1st of January 2021 and Mortgage Choice from the 1st of July that year. Excluding the impact of these acquisitions, core revenue increased by 25% and earnings per share of $1.71, that's up 37%. An AMP has confirmed it will complete its delisting from the main board operated by NZX Limited at the close of business today. On the 7th of February this year, AMP will consolidate to a sole listing on the Australian Securities Exchange. Well, now it's time for a very short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. Tune in to stay updated while on the move. We will tell you where the crypto craze has reached. Where the property market is headed next. What the world is doing to become more environmentally friendly. Apart from tracking the daily market charter. Be on top of the latest news and announcements with Calkine TV. And welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. Over in the US, on Wall Street, the Dow Jones fell 1.45%, the S&P 500 was down 2.44%, and the Nasdaq ended 3.44% lower. Earlier yesterday, the fresh claims for unemployment benefits in the US declined more than expected last week as COVID-19 infections subsided. It implied that an anticipated slowdown in job growth in January was just temporary. The global equity markets fell yesterday as jittery investors digested dismal updates from major central banks about the outlook for inflation and interest rates. The Pan-European Stock 600 index lost around 1.8% and MSCI's gauge of stocks across the globe fell 1.2%, while the FTSE fell 0.7%, CAC and the DAX declined by 1.5% and 1.6% respectively. Europe's main indices fell as the Bank of England delivered its widely anticipated second interest rate hike in three months. The European Central Bank kept its policy unchanged 
as expected. Oil prices edged higher on supply concerns even after OPEC Plus producers stuck to planned moderate output increases. WTI crude was up 2.2% to $90.20 per barrel. Brent gained 1.73% to $91.02 per barrel. Gold ended its winning streak after the U.S. dollar strengthened. Spot gold was flat at $1,806 U.S. dollars an ounce. The U.S. gold futures settled 0.3% lower at $1,804 U.S. dollars. That's all for our Morning Outlook report here on Calkine TV. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.